The discussions pertaining to this Korean-made asset have already made rounds within this outlet, where its capabilities and roles really mean a lot in terms of providing the current air interdiction abilities that the Philippine Air Force PAF, obtains. In this matter though, it is to see worth again to add more information in this topic, along with other articles already posted here, given that the line of jet fighters from South Korea is set to have a leap on its aircraft in production. The Philippines, Indonesia, and other countries are requesting BVR capability for the FA-50 Fighting Eagle. FA-50, equipped with LM-2032 radar, MIDS LVT-6, and digital RWR, is the Philippines' only fighter aircraft. As for Indonesia, it sorely lacks fighters despite its vast airspace, which is why its air force is upgrading the T-50I to FA-50 standard to double as light combat aircraft. They cannot import Israeli LM-2032, so they're procuring Korean license manufactured KM-2032 in order to meet customer demands and to secure future customers, Kai decided to upgrade the FA-50 with BVR capability. Unlike FA-50 in Rock of Service, which is used primarily for close air support and forward air control, a future export version of the FA-50 will exclusively be integrated with BVR missiles and combined interrogator transponder with IF capability. In addition, targeting pod will be integrated into both Rockoff and export FA-50 for improved ground attack capability. FA-50 already has precise ground attack capability thanks to its sophisticated GPS in system, Honeywell H764 EG integrated into its mission computer and its Link 16 tactical data link capability. Its LM-2032 radar also has ground attack mode that boosts FA-50's attack capability. The integration of the targeting pod allows the FA-50 to utilize its ground attack capability at full potential. It increases the overall accuracy of airstrikes and reduces the number of ammunition required to successfully destroy a target. Currently, Rockoff utilizes 500 pounds GUB-38 JDAM as FA-50's primary precision-guided munition. While JDAMs are capable of re and forget, they are not as accurate as laser-guided bombs. GBU-12, Rockoff's most numerous LGB, is planned to be equipped on FA-50 once targeting pods are integrated. The content once again points back to the January 31 article, where the idea of providing the jets with beyond visual range radar was raised in the process that it will raise the bar of the FA-50's capability as a light combat aircraft. Take note also that the reports pertaining at the time of the article's posting focusing on targeting pods that in any way helps improve the jet's ability in conducting accurate strang or bombing of ground targets, making it more active than the PAF surgical bombing operations in Marawi City two years ago. At the moment, several units of FA-50PH that the Philippine Air Force currently obtains are equipped with LM-2032 fire control radar originated from Israel. The discussions pertaining to it were traced back in 2016, where Shepherd Media reported it as part of the Asian Defense and Security Exhibition or ADA's 2016. So, these developments that take place for the improvement of FA-50 capabilities are getting mainstream for the ones that obtain it, such as the Republic of Korea Air Force Indonesia, Iraq, Thailand, and the Philippines, wherein this may help dictate so is the path that the TITA FA-50 production program may bring, as well as the direction that the manufacturer such as the Korean Aerospace Industries or Kai will take. Now, we are to provide the details regarding this development that was discussed on this page several articles ago. The RST point that we will be pointing out is the correlation of the beyond visual range BVR, radar to a transponder component that handles if for identification. Friend or foe capability. Let us quote the portion of the translated Bemel Chasen once again specifically to this area of the topic. Unlike FA-50 and Rock of Service, which is used primarily for close air support and forward air control, a future export version of the FA-50 will exclusively be integrated with BVR missiles and combined interrogator transponder with IF capability. This was discussed in the RST article on this page that deals on the role of the FA-50s within the Philippine Air Force, quoted directly from a post contributor of a defense-oriented group where it RST highlights the contrast of the role of such jets have within the Korean Armed Forces, with respect to its export variant that can be seen as an immediate alternative to the multi-role fighter jets, which is one of the projects the Philippine Air Force obtains under the Second Horizon.
The BVR missiles like the Derby missiles produced from Israel and combined interrogator transponder with F capability are the components which will help upgrade the F-A-50s once the South Korean manufacturer decides who will supply such capabilities to their combat jet product, with the combined interrogator transponder being the main factor for the enhancement of having an ability to obtain the beyond visual range detection of other aircraft, especially with the F capability that distinguishes friendly aircraft from the ones operated by the opposing forces. Ideally, every aircraft of various types obtains a transponder as a requirement for Ying on airspace that requires it in the same way as ADSB are slowly rolling in for air track purposes. The only thing regarding this upgrade is that a combined interrogator transponder, a military spec component and the one that the F-A-50 series doesn't obtain as the Koreans intend to use it for close air support and forward air control, will be provided where it may go and obtain the capacity for air detection that a multi-role fighter jet obtains, given that this was designed for air-to-air -air combat. An example will be the NAPX lineup of products that are in production with BAE systems for F-16 tur jets, which a document PDF la can be accessed here, click this link as if in case the RST-1 doesn't work. The addition of such capability is said were being discussed in two aforementioned articles we share here, wherein this additional advancement for the F-A-50's combat ability may influence the IT setup of roles, given that the Philippine Air Force's desire to undertake the multi-role fighter jet program, MRF, that also obtains such capability, especially in terms of implementing air defense mechanisms in designated airspace. With the MRFs being in the pipeline, the plans for the F-A-50 upgrade may complement the planned purchase of the dedicated air assets that in the process may help enhance air interdiction capabilities of this branch of the military specialized in aerospace defense.